Now before we work on anything else, let me run the project. Right now it is running on port 5001. Let me change that so that the command prompt is not opened every time. We can just run that using IIS profile by clicking here. That way it won't run on the port 5001. It will get the new port that is defined in the project config. I'm getting an error that I'll have to open Visual Studio under an admin account. So let me do that real quick. We will open the project again. We have the IIS Express here. Let's try to run it this time. And perfect. So we have home and privacy, but both of these pages are inside the home controller. Now in category, we will be creating, editing and deleting category. So for that, rather than working on the home controller, let's create a new controller for our category. So inside the controllers folder, we will right click, add a controller and we have few options here. We will go with the empty controller to keep things very simple and start from scratch. I will call that as category controller. Now when you name a controller, make sure that you append controller at the end. That is a required field. Whatever name you want must come before the controller. So once you have that name, we will click the add button. Perfect, we get an empty controller with index action method. Our home controller also had the index action method and our category controller also has the index action method. But the index action method in home controller has a view that is inside the home folder. Our category action method does not have a view right now. You can add the view in two ways. First, you can create a folder with the name of controller, which is category inside the views, and then you can add index view inside there. Or if you want to do that directly from the controller, you can just right click on the action and you have add view. We will be selecting the razor view here. Let's hit the add button. Now, when you add a razor view, there are few configuration that you have to do. First, what will be the name of the view? We will give that the same name as the action method, which is index. Then do you want to use any templates when you create this view? If you hover here, you can create a view for create, delete, details, edit, and list. I do not want to go into those details right now, but we will come back to that later on. If you change that, then model and data context class will be enabled. But we don't want to focus on that right now. We want to start scratch with an empty template. Next is a partial view. Partial view is basically like user controls in the web form. So it will be rendered inside some other view. So if you select a partial view, the layout page will not be used because you do not need any master page if you create a user component because you will be calling that inside some other view. We don't want to take a look at that right now. Let's keep it simple. Next, we will use the layout page. We want our view to use the default master page. So if you keep it blank, it will by default use the layout that we have set inside the view start, which is underscore layout. We want it to be consistent. So that is what we will be using and we will hit the add button. It will scaffold few dependencies and then it will create the view. If you had any errors while building the project and if you try to scaffold, that will fail. It will ask you to resolve the errors and only once your project is building successfully, you will be able to scaffold the views. So perfect, our view has been created and let me call this index category. With that, let's continue in the next video.